Hey, what's up everybody? Hit the yard sales today and made some nice scores and then really nice score on Craigslist, which happens to be the Sears and television system. So I'm going to show that last, best for last, because I got it for a really good deal. The wise, I'm going to start out with the oddball things first and then I'll get on to the video game related items. Anyways. These aren't real valuable ones, but a couple more vintage ones for the collection nonetheless. And I've never seen them like this. Usually these are either skeletonized or there's just like some kind of a scroll type work cut out into the metal. But not to where they have inlays like this. Anyways, got a couple of Pakistani butterfly knife slash Bali songs. Pearlized type plastic and lace. And for anybody new to collecting, these were the cheapies back in the day, so don't pay much for them. I got both for five bucks. They're always cheaply made, like they've just been thrown together, but still cool. Same yard sale. Just thought this was cool. Got this for five bucks. This is made by Sears Electronic Games. Computer memory game Electronic Follow Me. And it's basically a small sized clone of Simon. And just has one of the lids torn off the box, otherwise, still displays well. It's a cool looking box. A couple of robots on it. And uh, I only had one 9 volt battery and it died when I was testing it. So I'm hoping it works good because it started getting all glitchy. Otherwise, it is in good shape. This one you can see better here. There you go. And uh, I looked it up on eBay just to see what it's worth than maybe about double what I paid at most. I noticed there's two variations of it to where there's another one with the center piece here instead of black. I think it says Sears in the same place, but it's colored like the outside buttons. And worth about the same. Usually yard sales, man, the most I spend is about 15 minutes because I'm usually just looking for video game stuff. I may go back to this one tomorrow. This guy just had a lot of cool stuff to where I damn near spent 40 minutes there. I had just all kinds of just vintage stuff, knives, just trinkets, kind of stuff like that that you just don't see every day. So I was just going through everything. So I'm hoping he might bring out some more stuff tomorrow. To make it worth my while so maybe doing another video tomorrow don't know I'm pretty much down to just hitting the swap meet and lately the swap meet's been pretty lousy but I don't dare pass on it it's, it's been packed with people it's just the same vendors every friggin time and it's getting old so one more cool thing I got from the same yard sale and this, I got to find out what's wrong with it. I am hoping like hell I can repair this. I went ahead and paid $10. Mainly because uh, I haven't seen one of these since I was a kid. Just can't remember which one of my friends had one, but we had fun with it. This is a Crossman Air Guns Z77. It is made to look like an Uzi. And I'm pretty sure it's single shot. I don't think they had anything that was full auto like you can get today, but cool enough. But uh, the trigger is froze up on it, and I'm thinking that maybe the uh, safety here got out of sync or something to where I just got to get it back to where it should be. I'm hoping that's it. Otherwise, pretty good condition. I looked it up on Crossman. 
you can get the original owner's manual and also a parts list that shows an exploded view of the gun for anybody that wants to work on one so you know what all the parts are. And uh, I think there was two variations of this. It almost looked like there was, but I may be wrong on that. Otherwise, not in bad shape. And this is one to where you pull back on that and then you just fill it up with BBs and shake it, I guess, as you're shooting or whatever occasionally. And I don't think they have this on the market very long, hence it looks like a fucking Uzi. And this goes back to when they didn't have the painted tips. So some kid probably ended up getting shot over one or something. Oh yeah, and it is CO2 powered, which I did put in a CO2 cartridge and holds, so the seal's good, so it's definitely worth fixing. So that's all from that sale, and then a uh, second yard sale. Only got this because the price was right. It wasn't bad at all, and it seems to work great. Just need to clean it up a little bit more because it was kind of dusty. Picked myself up another Xbox that unbelievably has not been tampered with. Damn near every single one that I see lately has been opened up for some reason. And unless the person says it's outright been soft modded or something, I always pass on them. But uh, this one may end up going to my nephew for a Christmas present. Because I got the Xbox and then only had one game with it. It's like the guy picked it up and then he decided he didn't want it. And this game is one you can find for a couple bucks. But it is basically like new, probably because it sucks all ass. But it's got sneaking. Basically the game that Burger King did for the Xbox. Started playing it and had no clue what the fuck I was supposed to do other otherwise. I was bored as hell with it. But at least I got it in my collection now. Only got one controller, but it is Xbox brand, one of the green ones like they did for the Halo edition, so pretty cool. So, I'm going to show you the box for this thing first, because that's what made me want this. Never thought I'd find another one of these around here, let alone one that still had the box. And the box isn't absolutely beautiful, but it's definitely one that can be displayed nicely. Anyways, box for Sears Super Video Arcade Telegame System. And for anyone who's got one of these, you'll notice the picture there. That's like a display type model thing. They're not showing the actual system on the way it would look that you get inside. That makes it look like the controllers are wired inside as in permanent like the original model in television, but they're not. And it's showing it in every picture. More so there. Or I think that's probably an empty shell and they just cut the wires to the size they want to fit into the picture. As you can see, wires are really short there and then really long on those. So, Kind of cool that they do that. You don't really see that any days. Now they got to show the actual item. But uh, as far as I know, other than the Intellivision 2, this is the only system... It's one of the big ones where the controllers can be unplugged from the outside and replaced easy. And I'm pretty sure you can use Intellivision model. Oh wait, you wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I'm wrong on that. I forgot the Model 2 controller plugs are shaped like an L. Like that, as they go into the bottom, these plug in like a regular Atari type, so there's no way. But uh, 
I have occasionally seen just the controllers on eBay for that system. It's just like the system itself it just doesn't turn up much. Uh, oh, got some stuff inside. Before I forget. I think it's cool. I'm thinking this system was a dulled own, man, because the system is just immaculate for this particular model. Got the original owner's manual. The original RF cable, which is like friggin' new. Looks like they may have had this stuck on a TV at one time. I can tell it's been used, but these man for anybody new to collecting, just keep this as a collectible. Don't use it. These suck. They sucked back in the day too, man. They just outright suck. It doesn't matter what system you got. It's the way they were made. They just wear out really fast. Best bets to go to Radio Shack or a store like that and get one of those little direct connect adapters that screws into the coaxial output on your TV. And you'll get a much better signal. That's one thing on these. Once they start wearing out, your signal gets really, really staticky. But cool to have. Kind of like the last system where I got the original one that came with it. It's cool to have. Anyways, did get some games with it. Got one loose cart and got the overlays in one of the boxed ones. Got auto racing. Cart's in awesome shape. Probably because this is not one of the better games on the Intellivision. It pretty much sucks. Really hard to play. And, uh, this one's obviously one that got played a bit. This box isn't in the best shape, but not horrible. Triple action. We got planes, tanks, and cars. It does have the book. And it has both overlays. Yeah, this one I can tell it's been played. The overlays are a little scratched up, but they're not beat up. Cool. Gammon. Cart looks like new. Overlays. Good shape. Just no book. And then this is what's just unbelievable because you'd think this would be beat up since this was the pack in game with the system. It's almost like new copy of Poker and Blackjack. Book looks like new. Overlays really close to looking new. And cart looks like new. It's pretty cool. So every time I find this boxed by either Sears or in television, it's always beat to crap. So now for the system. And I'm gonna point something out here first to where as far as I'm concerned. As I do have another one of these that I show in another vid I did a while back, man, where I did some painting on it and some restoration just to make it look nice again, mainly because of the paint they use on these it comes off. And not horrible on this to the point where I'm going to do anything, but a lot of times when I see these, it's pretty bad to where... I just got some still wool and just went over it and got as much as the paint off as possible and then used some just auto paint out of a spray can and redid it. Back of this, they paint brown and as you can see, there are spots where the paint's starting to come off. Like I say, it's not bad enough to where I'm going to do anything. I want to keep this all original. Otherwise, the rest of it, it's like friggin' new, man really really clean a lot of times with any of the television systems these buttons just from kids playing with them digging in their fingernails there will be fingernail prints cut into them or just pressed into them these the pads look like new 
the discs are a little bit scratched up, but I think it's just from it being packed around for all these years. Man, all this plastic, really clean. And the front, just a tiny little spot somewhere in that area where it says Tully Games, like a little nick. Otherwise, all that looks really good. It's like even the cord looks new, like it was kept in the box for a long time. Anyways, got all that for 50 bucks. Pure luck, man. One thing I do not like about Craigslist, when they allow you to uh, put in like a location where they show the little map of where you are, so many times, man, they'll put you in the middle of nowhere. And that was the thing with this guy. I happened to luck out, and he was easy to find in the way of getting to his house. Basically just at the end of a street, so didn't have to search around. But man, they just had him out in the freaking desert on the map. So it was kind of skeptical if I was going to be able to pick that up or not today. But got lucky. And uh, that was something to where when I was sick, he had it on Craigslist. And I was just too sick to go anywhere. And he had it at 80 bucks, so it was worth waiting till I got better. Because he knocked it down to the 50 so anyways, that's all the pickups this time. Tomorrow, man, I have no clue. Pretty much I'm just going to hit the swap meet, and if I see any yard sales in that area, I will catch them, because I pretty much caught all the other ones at the opposite end of town, as they were all over the place. My back feels like it got hit with a freaking 2 by 4 man. I'm still trying to get better, as I really messed myself up good when I did my arm in but getting better at least now I can get out and not kill myself off too bad like I was doing so have a good one everybody